We're at the Italian-run, British-funded NGO Emergency. This is a holding facility for Ebola patients, and this is where Pauline Kafferke was working when she first arrived in Sierra Leone. Joining me is Luca Roller. He heads up the facility here. Luca, you worked uh, briefly with Pauline. Just tell me a bit about her. Uh, we move, we flow together from uh, England uh, to Sierra Leone with the other part of uh, NHS staff and uh, we started to work here, I introduced her to the uh, staff working here in LACA and uh, they were doing uh, the training, the practical training uh, before uh, going inside the red area where we have uh, the patient here with other international staff uh, in Laca Center. And what was she like to work with? Let me say that uh, Pauline uh, is a very committed uh, nurse. Uh, she was very enthusiastic uh, of uh, this uh, new job. I met all group uh, that was dedicated to emergency in York when they were receiving the training and uh, uh, all of them were very, let me say, very well motivated uh, to come here and of course Pauline also. And just tell me, what are the key risks um, that health workers are taking when they're in these facilities? Because clearly this job is not without risks. Yes, absolutely. This is not a job without risk. To manage Ebola patient is a risk job and we trying as medical staff to increase all procedures and protocol to reduce as minimum this risk, but of course to treat Ebola patient and to live in a community affected by Ebola is a risk uh, job. What are the main danger areas? Because obviously we see everybody there wearing full protective gear. I mean, at what points are they most vulnerable? Uh, to work in the red area is uh, vulnerable because uh, to take blood for a patient uh, is uh, something that you have to do and is uh, a risk uh, job. To put an IV line for a DDT patient is something that you have to do and is a, a risk job. So, I mean, working uh, with uh, this uh, kind of disease is always a risk job.